there, our career almost 20 years ago, is that American Airlines Flight 11 flew into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. My name is Mike Lowe, and my daughter Sarah Elizabeth Lowe was a flight attendant on that plane. These 20 years have felt like both a long time and a short time. As we recite the names of those we lost, my memory goes back to that terrible day when it felt like an evil specter had descended on our world. But it was also a time when many people acted above and beyond the ordinary. Beginning with the actions of the flight crews, like Sarah, and the passengers on the board flights, the individuals in the towers, the professionals of the fire and police, and later the volunteers who have worked on the pile sensitive to recovering our loved ones' remains. They helped pull us through the darkest days of our lives. In the last 20 years, my family and I have at times known unbearable sorrow and disbelief about the lives that would never be years we have filled with speaking out on my daughter's behalf and calling on many more precautions and also for the history to be remembered not as numbers and a date but the faces of ordinary people people who looked a lot like Sarah at the first memorial ceremony my wife Bobby and I stood here with thousands of family members right in the midst of a gray and black world of destroyed buildings. Today, this is a quiet place of memory. The gleaming 9-11 Museum holds a sacred repository for our loved ones remains. And a still brightly story of all the sons and daughters, the siblings, husbands and wives, grandparents and friends. As we carry these 20 years forward, I find sustenance and a continuing appreciation of all of those who <clears throat> rose to be more than ordinary people. And a father's pride in his daughter's selfless act in the last moments of her life, acting with heroic calm to help those in the air and those on the ground, a legacy from Sarah that burns like an eternal flame. Greg Grand Rising, everyone. I just want to give out this little memorial here. And again, with all the people that may have been lost or have been lost during that difficult time, um, I was also there in New York at the time that it happened. I was on my way out to 80 Maiden Lane for training that day and uh, was uh, running late and didn't get on the E train. I was going to take the F train, but I was going to, uh, but I was going to take the E train which goes directly into the World Trade Center. And if I was running on time, I would have been right amongst all that chaos. And God only knows if I would have been here today. So um, peace and blessings to each and every one. I find it very interesting that uh, all the people on this 20th year anniversary that were actually involved in spearheading everything that was going on, like George Pataki, the governor of New York at the time, uh, Giuliani, who was the mayor at the city at that time, and even George Bush, um, any of them, I, none of them are there at this memorial service, but all the Democrat leaders are there, as you can see. Uh, none of them had anything to do with what was going on with 9-11 at that particular time. Uh, totally different leadership. So it's very interesting how the polarization of the United States uh, stays intact even during political times and they politicize just about everything even the deaths of people uh they make it political so it's 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 very sad that they're doing this but the reality is is that we as a people must stand together and we as the people must make sure that we stay free in a land that is supposed to be the most freest of it all Great Grand Rising on this day, and to all people that have been affected, which is just about everybody, but all people that have been affected with the lives and deaths of people who were in that building that day, for whatever the cause of the building is coming down, we give our many blessings to you. Not only condolences, but the, but the blessings of peace, and may the universe watch over each and every one of us.
Let us continue to rise as we rise as a great return, great grand rising to us all.